my name is David. I'm the co-founder of Horatio Broadcast. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me here. Yeah, as already mentioned, the project is called Horatio Broadcast, and our aim is to connect businesses with the mobile audience. And we thought the best way to do so is on existing platforms, for example, on messengers. So we started to build a prototype so that businesses can um, get in contact with the mobile audience. And one month ago, we launched our private beta. And so far, we've already integrated Facebook Messenger, Telegram, mobile Chrome notifications, and you. Yeah. Um, I will show it to you. It's pretty basic and in a very infancy state right now. But you will get the idea pretty soon. So, as I said, um, we're building on existing platforms. So first, we have to connect your existing accounts to our platform. Uh, I will show it to you on Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, it's, you just add your pages to our platform and give us access to, yeah, basically your entire life. But, yeah. <laughs> okay, and we now import your Facebook pages into our platform. Since most of the people have uh, more than one Facebook page, you have to activate it separately. Yep. So, yeah, so let's activate um, this broadcast demo. Yeah, works, fine. And I've already integrated, uh, imported all the other platforms, for example, Telegram, Chrome notifications, and also Yo. So, now to get in, uh, now to get in, um, now to connect with the mobile audience, you have to show them like that you have a mobile integration. We've built a small wi widget which you can integrate in your website. It's like uh, with a small widget generator. I've also already done that and put on a demo site. I will show it on my phone. So. This is, this is the widget, and yeah. Every, every platform handles communication differently, and for Facebook, for example, um, to start a conversation, a user has to start a conversation to a page, otherwise a page cannot um, message a user. So what we have to do is like to message a page and start a con conversation. So we open the um, Facebook Messenger, so it's here, and we are just listening to keywords. In terms of Facebook, the keyword is start. So we'll just type in start. So, and in about 20 seconds, I will get um, a success message, success message that I'm subscribed. Um, it's technically Facebook who who needs 20 seconds to answer this or to get this real-time update, as they call it. And yeah, it takes some time, but we are subscribed really soon. <laughs> yeah, so from that point on, um, a page can message a user and send them updates. It also works um, for other messengers. So as I said, we have integrated also Telegram. Um, in Telegram, you don't have a page, but Telegram is a really cool messenger. They introduced bots, so it's like a user account um, which is not a real user, and you just start him by tapping the start button. This works way faster, of course. Um, and also, we have Chrome notifications. Um, Chrome notifications, they give you the ability that you can subscribe to push notifications on a website. Um, we can do this by clicking Chrome. The red X is just that we have subscribed. As I said, it's really basic and infancy. And we also have your notifications. Um, yeah. Now, now you can go to our platform and send messages to all your subscribed users. As you can see, each account has one subscribed user. And now you can send a message. For example, hi, Berlin Tech Meetup. So, 
And then you choose the accounts you want to send them and send it. Um, technically, um, we're not sending it now, we're putting it on our scheduler, so it takes up to one minute until we send this out. Which also means you can schedule your whole messages, so for each account, um, you can put in several schedulers when the message should go out. For example, um, OBC demo on Yo, uh, messages are sent out on Monday, um, Chrome we can send out on Wednesday, for example at uh, 1 p.m. We can edit that and then type messages and schedule them. For example here, and then you see a scheduled messages over here. So we're still waiting for the message to arrive. As I said, it can take up to one minute. And yeah. Um, yeah, one minute is pretty long. Do <laughs> um, you have any questions in between? No question? Don't be shy, you can ask everything. Yeah, now the first message is arriving. As you can see, um, this is the Facebook message we got from the uh, Facebook, uh, from the broadcast demo account. It's like, hi Berlin Tech Meetup, check out this. We also have um, the Yo notification. It opens a web view to show the message, like this. Then, also Telegram. It's basically, yeah, just the, just the same as Facebook Messenger. And the last one is the Chrome notification. Um, so this is, this is actually where I have subscribed to the website. And this opens up another web view. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Um, so any questions? I have a question. As a customer, as a client, why should I subscribe? Uh, to um, it's basically like a newsletter. So if you want to subscribe to your newsletter, you can do it on your messenger. Um, we are now in private beta for about one month. Mm -hmm. And with all our private beta um, customers, we have by now about 5,000 subscribers. Okay. So people want to subscribe on their, on their messenger because there are um, many people who don't use email primarily, but using Messenger, and they want to get the updates there. Okay, thank you. Over here, um, I um, find it very similar to this buffer for social networks. So my question is more like, as from the analytics point, uh, do you get any reports of how many people uh, got the messages or any kind of uh, interaction that the users did afterwards? Um, right now, we are only tracking Telegram. We have analytics on Telegram messengers, but on all the other platforms, we are not tracking anything right now. As said, we launched uh, our private beta one month ago, and it's still a way to go, but we are planning to do so. Um, did I understand it right that in order to acquire um, subscribers, um, you have a widget on your web page, and yeah. um, basically, yeah, asking them to, or giving them the opportunity to um, subscribe to um, yeah, any messenger, and then um, basically you lead into the process. It's pretty much like um, subscribing to a newsletter. You have like a widget on a website, but like, as you have seen, every network is handling their um, messages and stuff other, uh, like differently. Yeah. Um, so I have a question. Um, I'm blanking on the name of it, but Facebook just announced a couple weeks ago that they're launching their like uh, virtual assistant inside the chat app, and they did say they're going to open that up to brands to somehow be able to use Messenger to communicate with people who have followed their pages or whatnot. When that happens, is the Facebook channel on that still going to be relevant, or are you going to have to rely on the other channels you've developed? Yeah, the thing is, they announced two things in the past. One is our Facebook Business Messenger, which gives business the opportunity to um, have customer support via Messenger. And the other thing is the M, which is like um, kind of Siri for Facebook. Um, 
the thing is, um, the business messenger is already in beta testing at Facebook, and they have some, um, they have already some uh, customers who are using this. But we were just, um, we also applied, but we didn't get access. So our idea is also to build on Facebook business messenger if it's out, and so long uh, until we get access to it, uh, we are trying, we have tried to build it on our own to be one of the first in the market. You can also talk to me afterwards. I'm here for a while. Thank you. So, thanks a lot. So, this was the last presentation for the night. Thank you so much for coming. Please come back. Um, again, thanks to our sponsors. Don't forget to chat them up afterwards. Have another beer. Stick around. Ask the presenters. And uh, we have of course, a Twitter account, follow us, bring your friends, and we take videos of all the presentations. So for everybody who could not come or wants to spread something, uh, use those. Sorry? Oh, yes, rate the meetup, five stars, please. <laughs> so, thank you very much, have a great night. Okay.